Hello YouTube, this is Molly and Jay, and what I got here today is the Blue Bowl X2 review. And first, I gotta say that this phone is worth every single penny of it. I got it from Wheel HK, and I will be definitely providing the link below. This phone is right now $139. Now, here just to get started, let's go through the physical aspects of the phone. Here on the side, we can see the volume rockers up and down together with the power button. Now, it is located in one side, so that's easier for you to access your button, especially if you're left-handed. It's very, very comfortable. But even if you are right-handed, you can still reach it pretty much with your middle finger. On the very bottom, we're going to have the charging slash data port together with the microphone. On the right side, we're going to have the SIM tray. Uh, it is actually a dual SIM, dual standby device and supports two micro SIM cards. On the very top, you're going to have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And as we can see already, the body of this phone is very slim. It's only 7.6 millimeters thin. On the very back, we're going to have an actual 13 megapixel camera with the LED light together with the microphone. At the very bottom, we're going to have the Blue Bowl logo. It says here Hi-Fi and then some standards uh, together with Beyond Your Life logo. Then here at the very bottom, we can see the loudspeaker. And it is quite loud considering, once again, the price of this phone, the quality, the build quality, everything seems very nice. Here in the front, we're going to have a 5-inch multi-touch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 720. On the very top, you have the ear speaker. On the left side, you're going to have a notification LED light and the two megapixel front facing camera and the proximity and light sensor is right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. There are two little dots. At the very bottom, we're going to have the soft touch keys. We have the menu button, home button, and also the back button. Now, I like this type of um, metal finish. It's actually not metal. It's plastic, but makes it look very nice and stylish. And I do like that when the phone is off, you can see that the screen matches perfectly well with the remaining of the bezel. With that being said, this device is running the Android 4.2.2. I had installed a Miari launcher. Now, I do like this launcher because I think it goes very well with this device. And it's very, very smooth because this phone is running the MTK 6592. And yes, it is an octa-core device. It has 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal memory. So now let's go ahead and open here the Antutu test application. And I'm going to show you the score that I got. I think it was about 26,000 or so. So here we can see that, yes, it was 26,556. If you go to details, here are all the specs that Antutu gave it. If you go here to devices information, we can see that the brand is Bluebow. Model X2 with the Android 4.2.2. It is running the Octa Core MTK 6592 um, with the Mali 450. That's for the GPU for gaming and whatnot. We also see here the resolution of the screen is 1280 by 720. It does have a rear 13 megapixel camera. Um, I'm just going to scroll down so that you guys see the remaining of the information, including here at the very bottom, all the sensors supported. And once again, for the price of this phone, I think that the performance is just phenomenal. Now this launcher, you can install pretty much whatever launcher you want. But again, I like this launcher because all the applications seem to have the same size and it makes it look very fancy. So um, I know a lot of people don't like this launcher, but you have the option to download whichever you want. The great thing about this phone is that it comes ready out of the box. So even though you don't have to root it, I still rooted it so that I can install the YouTube application and also the Maps application to the system. So that means that if I restore the device, YouTube and the Maps application are going to still remain there because I have rooted it and installed it directly to the system. So yes, it does come with a Play Store. It does come with the Maps. So it comes almost ready out of the box. The GPS is very strong. Also, YouTube works perfectly well. You don't get any error messages or anything like that. As a matter of fact, if I did have an error, it wouldn't let me log in at all. So the first thing we're going to test now is the GPS. So check it out and let me know what you think. Hello YouTube, this is Molly and Jay, and what I got here today is the GPS test of the Blue Bow X2. And as we can see, it is working very well. All I needed was GPS status and also faster GPS to help it lock us in a little bit faster. But other than that, it is working like a charm. All right guys, so there you saw the GPS test and here from inside the house, we're gonna go ahead and perform another test. The signal reception is actually pretty good. So let's just give it a minute. So here from inside the house, we can see that yes, it is locking a signal very, very well. So I was actually very excited about that. Here we are also going to test the Wi-Fi. We can see that the Wi-Fi signal reception, um, I usually get about two to three bars because my Wi-Fi router is all the way in the back of the room. But the Wi-Fi is working very well and we're gonna go ahead and open here the browser. And let's say we wanna search for, let's say youtube.com. We are going to see that it is quite fast. 
and it works very well. We can also set up the desktop mode. Here, if we go to settings on the side, desktop mode, we can see that it is also loading pretty decently. And again, this is with Wi-Fi. Um, here, we also have the camera application. So I'm just gonna show you here that, yes, the system is showing that it does have a 13 megapixel camera. So we go here to camera, we go all the way to the bottom. Uh, picture size, we can see that, yes, it is a 13 megapixel. You can see that the front facing camera is quite decent. And even here from the camera, I mean, you guys can see that it is pretty decent. So that being said, now we're gonna go ahead and test the cameras and let me know what you think. Hello guys, uh, here we have the camera test on the Bluebo X2. Uh, this is the rear 13 megapixel camera. Uh, we can see that the quality is not so bad for the focus. Sometimes you had to tap on the screen a few times to get a successful focus. Uh, but the overall quality of it, uh, considering how cheap this device is, is pretty nice. And now we're gonna also test the front facing camera. All right guys, so here we have the front facing camera. We can see that the colors are very vivid. The quality is very nice. Um, you know, it's not among my favorite camera out there for the front facing camera, but it is pretty decent, especially for those who use it for Skype, uh, Uvu, or any other social media out there, or even selfies. This is going to be a decent camera. All right, so there you saw the camera test, and once again, the camera quality is very nice. It's very impressive. So now we're going to go ahead and test some app and games. I'm going to put a music on the background, so make sure you enjoy it. Well, we saw the performance of this phone is absolutely amazing. It works very fluently. All right, so now I'm gonna show you all the languages supported on this device. So if we go here to language and input, we go to the top where it says your language, and then I'm just gonna scroll down so that you guys see all the languages supported. It's very nice to have so many of them, as we can see here. So you guys can feel free to read them if you want to, but it is over, I would say over 40 languages supported on this device. So that's definitely great. So we know that for any country that you purchase this device, your language is gonna be most likely supported. All right, now what we're gonna do is test the uh, network speed on Straight Talk, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and open here speedtest.net. Let's go ahead and begin the test. And usually I get between five and six megabits of download speed. So it all depends on what area you're in. Uh, usually here at the house, I get no more than five. Right now I'm getting about eight. So that's, again, for a 3G device, I think that this is definitely great. Uh, sometimes I get, you know, 10, 12, and that's almost 4G. But for the most part, I get between 5 and 8 megabits of download speed. And I'm going to show you that on the previous results. Uh, we can see that it is quite decent. Again, considering the price of this phone, only $139 is working very well. The battery is very nice as well. I mean, yesterday I was at work and I went throughout the whole day with just one single charge and today is almost, as you can see, it's almost two o'clock and I haven't charged it since yesterday. So the battery on this phone without questions is just amazing. So here we have the results for speed test. So it did quite well. And here I have my little weight scale so that you guys see how light this device is. I have it in grams right now. 
So we're gonna put this one down and we can see it's only 130 grams. The Samsung Galaxy S5 original device is about 147. So as you can see, this phone is very light. And just to compare here with the Samsung Galaxy S5, you can see that size wise, they are almost the same. So we can see they have the same width and also the same length. All right, so another thing we're gonna test here is gonna be the Bluetooth. Here I have my little speaker. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's put it on Perry mode. So if we go here to settings and then we go to Bluetooth, I believe it's gonna be right here. Let's turn it on. Let's open it and let's search for devices. And the connection was successful. So now if you go here back to settings, uh, here we have, let's say, SIM number one. Um, let's try the device's defaults. Now we have powered off the speaker. So we're gonna test the actual speaker on the device. It is quite loud. Let me change here the ringtone. And as we can see, it is quite loud. All right, and this phone also supports OTG, which is USB on the go. So if you have one of those, you can just plug them in at the bottom. You can connect mouse, keyboards, and also if you have extended memories, you can do so on this device. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. Like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and have a good one.